So it's your boy Downsize, and I'm back once again on my block with another Hood Classic. This one right here is to ask a question of Cricket from Chronicles. How is it that a dropout, someone who snitched on the New Mexican Mafia, who claims to have, want nothing to do with it and is against it and all this other stuff, how is it that someone like yourself making all these claims can be so triggered and be so sensitive and such a snowflake about anything I say about the New Mexican Mafia, the little gang that it is. Why? Why do you get so offended? Why do you and your whole program, all the trolls on your channel, get so offended by that when you claim to have not, you're not none of that no more right you claim to be a totally different person yet you do not demonstrate that at all you and i show different triggers about the same thing you are triggered to defend it does anybody notice that do you notice that yourself that you get triggered to defend your position and that little gang, the New Mexican Mafia, it's a prison gang. Now, that's a question to you. It's obvious rhetorical questions. I think people will get it for themselves. I think maybe one of these days you'll get it for yourself, your own hypocrisy. Now, as to that little gang, let me put it in its proper perspective. Its original members, Jesse Bohorkis, Bossy, Wimpy, all of them. I know all of them. Not all of the original members, but those that I just named, yeah. And some more. And if you really think that there is that those dudes are 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 supposed are someone that can't get touched, could never be touched. If you really think that any one member of the Mexican Mafia was all that or that that gang was above any of its members, you're crazy. The new Mexican Mafia only existed or Mexican Mafia only existed because of those gang members from those street gangs with those reputations. That's it. Without those gang members from these street gangs, there's no prison gang. Now, all of us come before that. I don't know about your little gang out there in, 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 in the fields, but out here in Phoenix, no. There's no way in the world you're going to ever, ever have anybody put, put, put that gang above these street gangs. You're crazy. Not in this day and age. Now, let me put this in the proper perspective so that everybody gets this. What made that so fearful and frightening was because those going into the prison system had to face that judgment there. It wasn't no concern about what they can do out here. Because one thing's for certain, all the homies from Dupes knew, know that we can all be touched. None of us live under that delusion that, that we're all that. But see, there's those from that little gang that seem to think they are because they're big bubble heads. Their, their heads are full of hot air, helium. And you see how triggered this one is by it. Such a snowflake that he cannot let go of it no matter what. It's a little prison gang that you have nothing to do with anymore. So why are you so triggered about it? Why? See, that's just to speak to that little gang because I'm going I'm to end with this. All of these east side gangs are decades older than that. And that little gang, that little prison gang that started in prison in 1973 was started by members from east side of Phoenix. So know your place, son. Peace. And I'm out.